Last month, ex-gay poster boy John Polk announced that he was renouncing the ex-gay movement. So uh, initially he was he was he was gay. Then he became ex-gay where he was able to pray away the gay and he got married to Anne, okay, to Anne Polk. Now he has renounced the ex-gay movement and he's ended that marriage with Anne Polk. So he is now kind of ex ex-gay. You following this? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of layers. It's like those mm. Russian matryoshka dolls where you just, just you're peeling the layers away. Yeah. Now we have an interview with Ann Polk where she says, and again, I don't know what what lesbians have to do with her ex ex gay ex husband. <laughs> a lot of exes in there, uh, but she decided to make a statement about lesbians, and the statement is is pretty absurd to a lot of people. It doesn't really make much sense. I'll play it for you. We report, you decide that there are a lot of women possibly watching today who have experienced some of the very same things you're talking about and it is actually related to some type of sexual trauma, sexual abuse by a male figure or an authoritative figure. Um, it's very common. I did a study and that was 66% of the women had incurred sexual abuse early on in their lives. Wow. Wow. Um, but uh, no, a that's a scientific study. It's so. Do, you, do we should do we want to hear a little more, or do we just want to look at the numbers? Let's just hear a little more, so you okay. can get the full psychopathy of this individual. Only ninety percent of the girls who were leaving homosexuality had expressed that they had been a witness to abuse, sexual abuse, or physical abuse, or serious emotional abuse, or mm -hmm. any number of verbal, serious verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, physical so, and everything, 90% of them. 90%. 90%. So the, the enemy came in and, and actually yeah. shut a door right. and then opened a door to deception. Right. And right. Yeah. No, it's, that's exactly what happened. The enemy, which is it's code for Satan. You know about that, right, Lewis? Yeah. The enemy, Satan, came in and he uh, shut, he came in and shut a door and opened a door to deception. That was the name of that woman is Joni Lamb. This is the program Joni's Table Talk. On Daystar, I know it's a really, really good show. So here's the deal: we we obviously know just at face value that the idea that two thirds of lesbians um, were sexually abused, and then ninety percent of lesbians observed sexual abuse to someone else. So that's actually an interesting. Just those numbers are interesting. This study was based on her book, and her book was based on the results of a survey she did of ex-gay women. So what we have here is. You get together, you take women who are lesbians, and then you pull out a group of those who are willing to or forced into undergoing ex-gay therapy, which has already been debunked as completely bogus and, and unscientific and just it just doesn't work. So that's the subsection of women. Then of those women, the women who undergo the so-called therapy, some obviously realize this is insane and this is a form of abuse and I'm out of here. Eliminate those. The ones that believe that they have been turned straight by the ex-gay therapy, you interview just those in a completely unscientific way, and you write a book about it, and then you say, hey, two-thirds of the ex-gay women who successfully went through the program that they were potentially coerced into and is completely invalid scientifically and now believe they are no longer gay, they told me there's a lot of abuse, that 66% of them were abused. I trust it. Why not? And how many of those women were convinced of abuse that might not have even happened? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the other thing. Yeah. How many of them are brainwashed into thinking, you think you're a lesbian because you were abused, right. even though they weren't abused, yeah. and now we can rid you of the demons. It's very sad, but this show exists. That's, that's the reality. That, is, that might be the scariest part of all.